Hi, this is Jesse from the Vakwak. Welcome to Dual Universe Dev Diary. Uh, this time we are going to talk about the voxel technology. The idea of voxel is not new. Uh, you've seen it in other games already, uh, starting with Minecraft. But we wanted to go uh, beyond the cube-like aspect. We wanted to let people be able to carve out, literally, the world the way they want, to sculpt the, the world uh, and to make it more realistic. We wanted also that uh, players are able to build very large uh, structures that you can see from a long distance. And finally, all this had to happen within uh, this continuous single shard universe where everybody plays uh, in the same world at the same time. So there were uh, a lot of uh, network technical challenges to make sure that uh, the modifications you make are visible by everybody else. Now, if you're interested, let's take a behind the scene look at how all this is actually working. It all starts for the player with some basic shapes that you are able to deploy in the world, like a cube, of course, but also spheres, or cylinders, or even prism. Uh, so these, these shapes are the, the, the basic elements, but behind the scene, uh, they are made out of smaller uh, structures that are stored in a 3D matrix that is called a Hermit data field, that is able to store information about normal and surface. That's how it's done. It's called dual contouring, that's the technique we use, but it's actually uh, going further than that. If you look at this huge planet, this is also made out of voxel, and the thing we do is that we store the information of the Hermit data field at different level of detail. So there are not only one uh, Hermit data field, there are many that correspond to uh, different scale of the world. When you make a modification at one uh, level, at the lowest level, it will propagate to update the description of uh, the planet or the big construct at different level of details. That's how we handle huge uh, things like planets, but also that's how we actually enable people to build uh, huge structures like this uh, space station uh, with the same uh, technique. Uh, we have already demonstrated uh, several tools that enables you to, to go beyond the simple shape uh, that we introduced, like the way you can actually select two surfaces and connect them. But we, we also plan to develop things like copy-paste. So you see here we are deploying some elementary shapes and we are able to select the volume and then to copy-paste it to reproduce it in other places. There will be uh, other tools like uh, symmetry management tools and many others that we will slowly introduce through expansions as we exchange with you in the community to uh, better understand what you guys uh, need uh, in building. That's it. I hope you liked it. Uh, thank you for watching and a big, big thank you to all our backers in crowdfunding. Thank you. Uh, keep spreading the word and see you soon in Jewel Universe.